In this video, I played Sally Face, or Sally McSally Face for its full name. That's a hole in the fabric of reality. Hi, Charlie. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. It's a point-and-click horror adventure that's really good, and I managed to miss, like I did a lot of things growing up. Oh my, what is that horrific device you have? <laughs> what the f*** did I do to her? I, pra I basically just shot this poor already dead woman. This was streamed live on twitch.tv slash quite, where I will actually be live tonight. If you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to another one like it. And did you know that only like a fifth of y'all are subscribed with notifications on? Kinda hurts my feelings. If you subscribe and hit that bell icon, you'll never miss an upload again. It takes two seconds, it's free, and you can always undo it later if you decide you hate it. Anyways, enjoy this video. Alright, let's, uh, let's fix this whole thing. Let's get this set up in place. The cable. Kmart look? No, that's the Kmart logo. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, that's Springtrap. This game is pretty gory, just a heads up. Yeah, good to know. I, I will say, guys, I know nothing about this game going in. I only know that Gloom got like 10 mil views playing. If it's if it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. It was just like the last time. Only this time it started in a hospital. Something's not right. Somebody put S shake on the building. Oh fuck, that movement is wonky. Hello? 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 Yo, it's, it's always like this with dialogue-ass games. I gotta move myself over here so you guys can see who's talking. It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? What are you talking about? Where am I? Don't worry about that. Just come find me. Okay, weird. Sounded like my dad. Well, it's a good thing I didn't ask who that was because apparently I already knew. D Bro, I have biceps of steel. Looks like something's there, but it's too dark to see. I can literally see it right there. Okay, light switch. Very cool. I should really take a shower. There's a lot of blood. A key. My man is fucked up on God. Legit, this is literally just me after a night out. Did I just come out of a brick wall? What's, uh, what's going on in here? <laughs> it says P. What if I go all the way to A? That ain't right. Now what if I went through the P door? Nope. That's a funeral procession. Who's a good doggy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Am I, am I climbing down, fellas? It's kind of gross down here. I'm not gonna lie. It's locked. Well, I do not know this. Oh, well, I guess that worked. Just fucking ripped them out of the battery socket. Of course he has blue hair and pronouns. Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. Well, he's gone. This is your fault. That is a corpse. Mom? She's not doing so hot, huh? And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? The second one, the one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. I, I love the idea of genetically blue hair. Episode one, strange neighbors. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. I agree, whatever happens in New Jersey stays there, dude. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? So do I just wear the mask at all times? Is that an aesthetic choice? School will start up in a couple weeks and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. No, so. Anybody would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Dream Dad is significantly meaner than real life dad. A dream Dad called me a murderer. All right, time to ditch the house and never come back. What the fuck happened here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now, Scram, I don't get paid to babysit. What happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run back along to your parents? I only have one of them nowadays, apparently. I wish I could. Ha! <laughs> Stupid weirdo kid, grumble, grumble. I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What's it look like? All right, I'm out now. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investing a serious crime. You're, you're, you're in my way, officer. Hello, I'm new to the building. Just wanted to introduce myself. Okay, come in. D damn, they just legit let me in. I got them. <laughs> they got on my little pony collection. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Ha! Huh. I don't really, I don't really want to talk to this guy any more than I already have. I don't know why I came in here. You would drink the sweat out of a shirt? Uh, you should, I should ban you. Uh, you should be banned off Twitch. Oh, the music changed. Will one of these be unlocked? No dice. Oh, dice? It's gonna be a squatter in here, huh? Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir? Are you okay? Is this the Sonic EXE mod? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and a dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. You sure you're okay? 
What the? Oh, there's piss stains on this newspaper. The fucking, it j the base just kicked in when I went to the bathroom. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Oh my. Sorry, you just startled me. You must be one of the new guys. With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to say hi. It's just me and my dad. My name's Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should introduce yourself. His name's Larry. He'll be in the in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. Time to go meet the kid who apparently lives in the fucking basement. Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Doors open. It explicitly says keep out, though, so I don't want to come in. Whoa, nice mask. That's not how most people would describe it, I think. It's a prosthetic. Oh shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you like have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. He is so ratty, dude. <laughs> We're just having a good time, that's all. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room, though. He always talks through his little mail slot. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please, and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. it happened in 403. Shh, not so loud, man. The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. Okay, so I was helping Miss Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. Frozen by fear, just peeking through the crack of the bathroom door. Anyways, it all started so- it all happened so fast and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. Well, you're fucking stupid. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. Well, he did try to be a responsible citizen. Like, what else are you gonna do? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. Larry, you are the rat. What's this thing? It's, uh, it's a police scanner. I listen in on a local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? I make a fake call. Maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Yeah, bro wants to play Spider-Man real bad. So what's the plan? I call in a bank robbery, hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. Use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Here, take this head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. Friends for two minutes and already committing crimes. Real. You ready? Yeah, I'm gonna do it right in front of the cop. Okay, I'm in my room now. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Why is the cat as large as a man? Okay, it's done. Heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. All right, time to break in. This building's so old, there's definitely no security cams. That's how I like it. Just snuck in, feeling good. Ugh, it's gross in here. There's a broken coffee table with some books. All right, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. The fucking ponies. It's a dead giveaway. There's these little figures. Look like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Damn, we cracked this cat surprisingly fast. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mr. Sanderson got the super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that I was fixing her toilet- what- that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. I mean, I don't really see a need to interact or interfere with him in any way so long as I don't have any of those toys on me. But he's not gonna come after me if I have nothing he wants. Exactly, that's why you gotta get in a Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Okay, let's break into 204. I'm just looking is all. I know, they're so cool, aren't they? Yeah, I got more tea from Addison. Wonderful. God, that animation is never gonna get more pleasant to look at. Ah, so relaxing. <laughs> Ah, must have dozed off for a second there. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies. Wouldn't dream of it. Give Charlie some of Addison's tea. Great idea. I bet that put him right to sleep. It did, but only for a minute. Hmm, if only we could make it stronger. I know exactly what to do. Time to roofie someone who may or may not be a murderer. This may come in handy once I have something to mix it with. Oh wait, right. I thought I forgot I used the tea to give to him. I've played a surprising amount of games on stream that involve drugging people with tea. Remember kids, do not actually feed people drugs in real life. That's bad and illegal crime. This will knock that fat bastard out for sure. We just took the whole stash? Dad's just gonna have to deal with the nightmares for a bit, alright? Sorry. Here you go. Got another cup. As much as I love that stuff, I don't know if I can drink another drop today. As surprising as that sounds. Really? But it's fresh, nice and hot. Well, maybe. No, I don't want to overdo it. Are you positive? This is, um, this is a new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out. Oh, I have to try that. Give it here. Oh my god, I love, I love, oh, this is better than, the, than his original. I don't know how we... He... 
Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. All right, time to rob a bitch. Got the toy. Score. Damn, that thing is bloody. Nothing like a good bit of vigilante justice to start your first day in a new apartment. Detective, I have some evidence for you. This came from Charlie's room? How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there to talking to Charlie and he was showing me all his toys. Then when I, that's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in trading, huh? Just remember next time you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir. You got it. Well, that worked out nicely, I think. Maybe I can finally unpack. The door is now open. Hello, detective. Holy fuck, they actually got his ass. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. First day and already lying to the police. <laughs> no one was around, so I looked into the back window of the van. Oh shit! Such a horrific sight for anyone to see. Let a young, a, a young child as you were. Fifteen years old and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess. This is boyfriend from Friday Night Funkin', by the way. After all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. Damn! So I fucking got his ass locked up for no reason. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. After high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. This is like fucking the oh, meme on TikTok when your credit card, card doesn't work in a therapy right. session. They just start fucking like redoing all the trauma they undid right by insulting you. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll let me help you. Worst therapist imaginable. All right, put on my little face mask. I don't think you are a murderer, Sal. Oh shit, I'm in prison. Sal? Sally, where are you? Guys, it's boyfriend from Friday Night Fuck It! It always comes back to Friday Night Fuck It! You didn't call Sal, bud. Don't wander so far, sweetie. Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please. Please, can I go pet the doggy? All right, Sal, just give me a second to get my purse. Hey, I'll wait over there, by the trees. Several miles away from you, so that if anything bad happens, you won't be able to make it a dime. Oh shit, my face is bleeding. That's not good. Most doctors would say I should get that checked out. That's a weird looking dog. Just crawling in. Thank you so much for coming to help me out with the toilet. Miss Sanderson? <gasps> Did I do that shit? Did I confirm do that shit? No problem, Miss Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Is Larry not real? Um, it's a really long toilet. Oh! Just got bored by a toilet. Where am I? Master Splinter? Weird dog. Please, help me. What's wrong? The water. It stopped. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Yeah, it's not doing so hot, huh? This game is like, super fucked looking. Did it work? I don't know if anybody noticed. It seems like an oversight. There we go. Wow. What? What a convenient bridge. What the hell? What the hell? Inflation? <laughs> Inflation cake! I fixed the toilet. I'm just gonna look through this door inconspicuously. Oh, you're not doing so hot, are you, lady? Well, I didn't see anything. What if I walked in the opposite direction? It's a dead end. Oh, that's not good. That's a hole in the fabric of reality. Hi, Charlie. Sal, come closer. Oh, I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. You got, you got a little something there, Sans. Episode two, The Wretched. <laughs> Oh, the scream, the scream on the opening of that sounded like the porn scream, but just really distorted. Episode two, The Wretched. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life and I haven't seen any ghosts. Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. He keeps a body in his fridge. Whoa, how come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. I feel like you'd be able to see this from the window in one of the buildings, or like in one of the apartments. Why does Sal walk with so much swagger? She's just, he's just got that natural confidence. This is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. You have electricity up here? Or is that a battery powered radio? Yeah. 
Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay. And the next day he was just gone. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, they loved each other. They hardly even fought. It what not what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he would never leave us like that. So what do you think happened? You know, I'm not generally superstitious. And I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted. But, well, I think it's something else. I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. But when he trusted me to, you know, pull off that criminal or like that, like help get somebody arrested, and I followed through, that would make me trust somebody pretty quickly, you know? The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist. I lit a few back and one ended up in Miss Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. It felt horrible though. The poor bunny. Anyways, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. Because of what he did, he cursed me. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. I got stolen. I missed so much school, I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Miss Sanderson, everything. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It's like nothing I'd seen before. It was a moving shadow, all black and misty, but had the form of a man. Those deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit, I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way, when? I swear, I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. Maybe there are some clues around that could help. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Oh, she's gonna die. She's dead. There are cameras I just noticed. I think they just added them because, you know, there was a murder and stuff. I should call Larry up so we can meet Megan. Then you'll have to believe the Addison apartments are haunted. Larry, you there? Have you come to 504? So what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend, Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though I haven't been able to give her to come out in a while now. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. Dude, know who you should go talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also into the supernatural stuff. Todd? Really? Never expected he'd believe in that stuff. Okay, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. Oh my god, woman! You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, um, me? You have? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too, er... You too. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. You alright, Sal? You seem a bit anxious. I see dead people. I believe in paranormal in occurrences and possibility of consciousness enduring beyond death. Why the hesitation? Despite having witnessed unexplainable phenomena firsthand, I would require concrete evidence to declare with certainty that I believe in ghosts. So I do find the subject to be quite fascinating, nerd. What do you usually do to call Megan? Does the gear boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. So like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure. I'll be in my room once you're ready. I gotta do all the fucking fetch quests in this goddamn game. Oh, there's a fucking hookah in this apartment. Hey, mind if I borrow the antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. Okay, now I need the battery. Take them out of the walkie-talkie? I, I just tried. Talk to Todd, he can take him out. Why on God's green earth do I need Todd to take the fucking batteries out for me? I have working, f I'm missing a face, not fingers. Will this work for the reception? Yes, this will work. Yes, the battery from your walkie talkie. Good thinking, Sally Base. With the two components you retrieved and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the Gear Boy 1. Do we know how Sally lost her face or was that just the quip? No, he legit just doesn't have one. Okay, all set. Behold, the Super Gear Boy. Most uncreative naming convention possible. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode when this strange cartridges in it. However, unfortunately, I needed a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that's all right. I suggest we take this for a run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold up the Super Gear Boy by pressing shift. Did it work? Mm, maybe I... I think I found the supernatural apparition. Holy crap. I never thought he'd kill them. I, it's all my fault. Wah, wah, wah. Feel bad for yourself somewhere else, bud. Stacy and her daughter. Oh God, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. He's here. Who, the red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? Have to go. I'm sorry.
That animation is super fucky, dude. That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories, and a whole other thing to actually experience it. 15-year-old <laughs> nerd, some ginger with glasses, turned a game play into a, like, a, a ghost, like, apparition machine. And shit just worked. Scientists have been trying for decades. Alright, let's give it a whiff. Every single person's bathroom is just like this. I just gotta try every bathroom I can find. I should just hold this out forever. Check out the Super Gear Boy. Todd made that? That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, he needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Damn, well that's okay. Hopefully it will help us find out more about these ghosts. And my curse. He's, he's being a super good sport about this. I like Larry. He seems like a chill guy. Oh, there it is. There it is, fellas. Sal? Phantom? Sal? Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No. Sal? What are you? Go to the fridge and red ball. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. Talk about awkward. What if I what if I just like pulled it out, see if anything goes off? Pro some on the first floor, probably. Right? It's the only place I haven't gotten anything, I think. She's practically a corpse, so if I use this in Oh shit! I was fucking right. Oh my god! Oh my, what is that horrific device you have? <laughs> what the fuck did I do to her? I pra I basically just shot this poor already dead woman. Are you okay? Is anything okay? I haven't been in a long time. Yes, I know, Sally. I'm not gonna drop dead on you. Not today, at least. You look mighty close. Oh, found it. That seems mighty suspicious. Well, didn't get much from that, huh? Maybe at the spot where I saw the fucking demon? Yep, that'll do it. What the? Oh, it recharged it. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again and see if he's found anything. It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only one that comes up is our friend Charlie. But look at the photo of him on this public record. That doesn't look like him. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Miss Sanderson was killed. Not even in the classified police record. I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing persons case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be her little friend from upstairs. Stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Say it says that... They had been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Holy fuck, Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. Haha, <laughs> you'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My dad says bad words sometimes, too. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean mom's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Do you remember anything else about him? Oh, and my dad didn't like him much. I don't know why. I think because he was banging your, he was banging your mom, dude. Sorry. You remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry. And I, my mouth is weird. Were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before. But my dad went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our dads were friends. Hee <laughs> hee. Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? I'm sorry you lost your dad. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my dad went fishing a lot. Dad's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye bye. Yeah, that didn't go so well, huh? Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're gonna need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. David's place. It probably- Oh my god, it fucking smells! Oh, hi, Sal. What Jin's up to today? He- <laughs> Dude, wait, wait, I got- I have an incredible bit here, just give me a second. It's literally fucking him. It's literally him, just old and decrepit and down on his luck. It's him! It's literally him! It's literally him! They have the same name! It's canonically him! Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See those kids next door in 301? They're nice kids and all. Shakes the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. Sock for them for me, get them a little quieter, then I could let you borrow the crowbar. Yeah, leave it to the fucking kid with the weird mask on his face to deal with the problems, huh? CJ! I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. This would be my pick, personally. This sounds like a fucking beat that, like, Blade would rap on. There you go. How about this? I think this would put everyone to sleep. Yeah, well, if I push your wheelchair over here and then take the wheels off, good luck changing it back, bud. I did it. Sup, brother? Worked it all out with the college students. They're gonna have a much more low-key party this time. Right, let me grab that crowbar for you. One second. Thanks, I'm gonna be beaten someone's kneecaps with it. I should be able to pull these boards off with the crowbar. 
Nice. I don't know if you're aware, but there's a big hole in the wall up here. It's like that old Cartoon Network show. Kind of a safety hazard. There's a huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's room on the other side. Point of no return. Crawl through the creepy hole. Anyone's that ever stopped us before, Chad? I just be walking. I just be walking. I just realized that was a noose. Huh, hello? In Seeking Providence. Is this like meta? Is this actually like, is this happening in universe? Or is this like the chapter select of the game? She desperately sought a place among the council. So the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial. Oops, I just gotta, I just gotta like be aware of the drift mechanics. I'm moving through these now, dude, actually. Like, wait, I might be like, I'm got Never mind. And I have to start all the way to fucking the game, man! God fucking damn it! You're garbage and you're really mean, okay? So fucking maybe like be a little more considerate. I'm like shimmying to the best of my ability. Okay, okay, I can do this. I can I'm doing it. Okay. I got this. I got this. Did I do it? I did it! Take book. I have retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my worth now? For we are the devourers of gods. It's a little dramatic, don't you think? Like a little dramatic. It just I fucking I picked up a book. Hey, it's me, Jim. This is like going through Cerulean Cave all over again, man. Very slowly, very slowly. There we go. Whipped it. Use key. Chapter two completed. The same. All these rooms look the same. Down right. Founder. And my name is Gregory Montag. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's kind of you. That's kind of you. I take if you're not with the men of this church. No, ma'am. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I'm at my wit's end. I'd like to help however I can. You just need to tell me what you need. It's awful kind of you, Mr. Montag. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please call me Greg. <laughs> just a humble farmer that's glad to be helpful to nice folk to like you. We're making progress, guys. I'm a completionist, by the way. In, in, in the game within the game, not the actual Sally Fish game i'm too damn lazy what if i just keep going left forever is this another like of the same kind of puzzle um uh, i don't i'm fucking scared i don't know mother where have you been child you had me worried sick i'm sorry mom i was lost and it was so dark hush now my sweet angel everything is okay here i want you to have this grandma's necklace it will protect you from the wickedness in the world so you don't have to be afraid anymore what about father he doesn't have to know this will be our little secret a young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle searching for the final components the council required i look like a jawa dude <laughs> <laughs> look at me up. Fuck! I'm just waddling around. Look at me go, dude. Oh, how did I not die? How did I not die there? I have retrieved the remaining assets. Very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay within the circle while we perform the summoning. I understand. Oh shit. In a moment, he found himself somewhere else. Even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here, he knew what must be done. That woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together. Cannot afford any obstacles. Oh, he fucking moves so fast. I hate this. God damn it. God damn it. Dude, look, he moves so fast. I'm like barely pressing the key when I do that. The child will only slow us down. Will never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. <gasps> God damn it. This is not even... Oh God, I hate video game developers. This is worse than the impossible quiz, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it... it Ch chat's blocking that a little bit. I'm just gonna move that so we can get the full effect here. Luke, can you hear me? Not doing so hot. What the hell just happened? God gave me one of his inventions. He said that theoretically it could destroy and overload an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades? That was before I was even born. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed like it took care of him. No, that's great, Mel. I was just thinking. I guess since there's no curse, this all means that my dad, he, he just... <laughs> Poor guy. That's tough. That's rough, buddy. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. Guards are giving me the look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially with that being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life, I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system. Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you for what you did. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. He ain't going to that treehouse. What a fucking psycho, eh? He looks like a Muppet. <laughs> oh 
oh shit, he's actually going. He's like, I'm curious. Oh shit, I'm playing as the therapist. It's not as pretty to be around anymore now that it's like condemned and orange and shit. Damn, this place has like weathered the test of time way better than the rest of the apartment. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it though. Rusty tools and other various junk. Ugh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just needed to see for myself. Sal was so convincing and the whole thing had seemed off. Oh shit, Dr. Enon? What? What? Ah! Don't freak out, man. We need your help. You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please, you have to get Sal here. You can't be. Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then... Bro dies. Well, there goes that plan. Shit. That didn't go so well, huh? He'd be like that sometimes. Dies cutely. Who knows? Is this real? Am I dreaming? Hey, it's this guy. The only one who r believed you is dead now. What should I do? Run? Huh? Huh? Run? Huh? I probably should have pulled that lever. What the fuck is this? What if I just like ran towards him? Hey, bud. Is it true you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of being an innocent man? Are you sticking with the story you've told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't true? Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? Can you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true that they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me too. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. Is it true that that you were granted special meal privileges because you were afraid of bologna. I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just, well, it's a long story. The trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. I think that's where I'm calling it for today. And I would like to, I would like to do more, but I'll be sure to keep you guys posted on what I'm planning on playing next. Thank you all for coming out to this. Did you know, if you're watching on YouTube, we stream this live on twitch.tv slash quite where I'm here on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And you could have been here live, like ch checking this out with me, like in real time. You just didn't, did you? Kind of lame.